the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. Safety, safety, safety. Don't work on a hybrid vehicle unless you've had the proper training and own the proper equipment. And before we even get into the meter aspect, let's talk about gloves because anytime you handle a meter or tools around these orange cable connections, you've got to have class zero 1000 volt gloves. And I happen to have a set right here. Keep them in this canvas bag to keep them protected between uses. And every time I get them out, I'm going to inspect them visually and then perform a little test to see if they hold air. You can blow in them or you can roll them up and if they hold air there's no pinholes. If there's a pinhole, a flashback problem with the electrical system on a hybrid could actually find its way in through that pinhole to your hand. So each time you put a set of gloves on, check them and every six months they recommend you send them off for professional testing. So we'll go ahead and roll that up and it holds air. Now the rubber gloves protect you and the leather shells protect the gloves. So we'll put these on and continue talking more about safety in hybrid vehicles. Safety glasses aren't a bad idea either in any kind of auto repair realm, especially working with the high voltage systems. So once I've got class zero gloves on, let's talk about category three meters. Now most of the Flukes products are category three now, the five series, 87s, 88s, they're all category three and of course this Fluke 1587 high voltage insulation tester also cat 3000 volt meter. You can find the rating of that meter down here in the lower right hand corner of all the products. No matter what brand of meter it is it will say whether it's cat 3000 volts or not. This is actually cat 3000 volts and cat 4 600 volts. So make sure not only the meter is specified to that degree of protection, but also make sure the leads say 1,000 volts as well as the ends, the alligator clips or probes.